Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to review a new IP or security camera from Anki and this is called, uh, well this is one of the Night Chroma series and uh, this is the NCPT500. This is a 3K PT dome camera and this whole Night Chroma um, this is the, the trademark of the, uh, or the list of cameras or the family of cameras which have a really good uh, color representation of the night footage. So instead of you seeing the usual black and white image, it will, it will try really, really good to give you a, um, a true color image. So I think what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm actually going to show you a couple of recordings because, you know, the real deal with this camera is, is really the quality and the recording and, and the, you know, the type of footage that you would be able to see, especially in night time. So let's look at the first footage. So I've downloaded all the videos, so I'm going to show you this in, um, um, you know, the just VLC player. And, um, uh, well, I'm going to talk about the night footage, but I'm going to show you some daytime footage as well, so you have some reference. But I would say that this uh, is, you know, what you would expect. I think it's in par with uh, the, the other cameras from Enki that I have seen. You know, really, really good pictures, vibrant colors. I'm really, really satisfied. Um, and especially, you know, since when you are moving, sometimes it gets a little bit blurry, but as soon as the camera stops, then it, you know, it makes a very, very sharp image. And as you can see, the, uh, the details in, uh, in the far away and the details that are really close are sharp at, at the same time. So it's, uh, it's really impressive. But as you can see here, so this was taken half past seven. So that was already sort of like late in the afternoon. But, um, you know, still it looks good. Uh, the pan and the tilt is fantastic. So uh, it's, it's really nice. And um, this is uh, actually the C800 camera so that I've reviewed previously. So that's a fixed camera. It's a, you know, a generic uh, um, infrared night color camera. So I wanted to show you the, uh, um, you know, side-by-side -side footage. And as you can see, this looks pretty much the same. Um, still really good colors taken at the same time. Probably you can see that there is a little bit of blur here. So as I move, there is more blur than uh, with the night chroma camera. Okay, maybe I'm going to show you some. Okay, that's roughly the same time, half an hour later. You're not going to see a lot here, and the same with the C800. I can see that this gets a little bit darker as well, and you can see that the motions are a little bit blurred, but probably even more a little bit blurred. Yeah, I was showing you the neighbor's cat is having a picnic at my place. And this is one of the night footage that's actually from the NCP camera. So, oh yeah, yeah, we were coming home. So um, what you see here is uh, the street lights are obviously on. So there is a lot of color still here from the orange street lights. And um, uh, I mean, my driveway is pretty dark at this point. So it's 2, 10 a.m. in the evening. But then as soon as there is a little bit of light, it gets... Uh, uh, well, actually, you can see the, the, the greens here and uh, this flash here, this light is actually another camera. So that's the infrared. And again, you can make out colors. So like the blue accent colors here. And again, now where it is illuminated, then everything is, you know, green and this pine tree, pine tree has a teal color. But let me just go through. I mean, I have some dedicated footage as well. Again, this is the same camera from the C800. So they, this is the standard night footage that uh, you usually get used to. So yeah, you have some comparison. Okay, and I have taken these specific images. So um, the first one is I've taken at nine o'clock. So again, keep in mind that um, we are in summertime. So it is already, you know, what is it, not nine, eight. So it is fairly, uh, and that was after sunset, and that's pretty much like the same footage. So I think I'm just going to go through that. Um, the street lights are not on yet. So you can see here the, uh, the light from the car, and then, you know, it looks fine. Everything looks nice. And uh, here I just want to show you the, the type of motion blur. So again, eight o'clock in the evening, but 
it feels like that the the it's still like a daytime footage. And if I show you the same in the SC800, let me just uh, for fast forward a little bit. Then again, uh, maybe a little bit back. Ah, oh, come on, indexing in these videos. So again, you can see that uh, the motion gets a little bit more blurred as I move around. So obviously it makes a difference if you want to identify somebody in the dark. And so the next footage a little bit later, so that's about, uh, uh, what is it, roughly half an hour later. So the street lights are on. It's not completely pitch dark yet, but you can see uh, it's it almost looks like daytime footage, except all the yellows that are coming from the street lights. So there are some additional lights here that you can see, but you know, this is still green and uh, while well, the car is white, so that's not going to make a difference. But um, I'm just going to wait here in the corner until there is a motion activated floodlight. So I wanted that to go off. And then you should see me if we just wait a little bit more. Okay. Again, I fast forward too much. And again, what I wanted to show you here is that um, now the, the blur is definitely more, more pronounced. So I actually have to stop until you can make the details of my face. Um, so yes, you are losing information because, uh, I mean, yeah, half past eight, it gets, you know, it's fairly dark, especially in this place. You will think that this, uh, this area is, is very, very, uh, fairly well lit, but it's mostly the, um, the street and, you know, this corner is fairly dark. So you get this motion blur. And if you look at the same footage from the C800, actually in terms of the motion, it gets a little bit better because this you know, scene, especially when I'm standing here, that's roughly like three meters. So that's being illuminated by the IR LEDs. So actually the face details are slightly better in this uh, um, example. And I just wanted to show you how the um, the phone the from the flashlight of the phone doesn't really make a difference because well this one is looking at infrared and that's another security camera this is why it has the you can see the infrared light of it and uh, do we have any useful footage here I guess not oh that was when I was coming out so again you can see that when I stop actually there is a lot more detail on the face so it really depends on how you want to use this camera um, but if you don't have a lot of illumination, I mean, this is, you know, pretty much dark here. So in that case, maybe the infrared is going to give you better recognition than the color footage. And then let's look at the last video. And actually I want to mention something. So this camera, I'm going to show you later on the settings, has a supplement light and it's, um, it's a very subtle light. But it's like a white LED that the camera uses to illuminate the entire scene. And you can see that, you know, with this, it looks like there is a huge, huge fog light. But this light is actually like probably half the um, intensity of my phone. So I turn on my flashlight and my, uh, the flashlight on my phone was probably like twice as strong as this small light. But it is enough for this camera to, you know, make really good color image and we are talking about roughly like you know sort of like 50 meters until this gate or the, maybe you know 10 meters to these hedges so that's pretty good and now you can see that you know my face has a lot more details and that's the point where this supplement light has turned off so and then it, it came back again so it is set to auto so it is activated by motion but you can see the huge difference it makes. Uh, and really this footage almost looks like daytime footage. I was really impressed by this uh, quality. And I think as I walk by, walk back, you will be able to see, I think I use my flashlight again just to show you how much, uh, no, 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 I, I was just panning around, yeah. And again, this supplement light has turned off, but there are some floodlights in the garden and this light turns back on and you can see you can see these you know garden details this is pretty much pitch dark there is not a, 
there is no light here at all. And then, you know, when, when the panning stops, you can make out all the details, all the colors, and some of them are just only five meters away. Some of the other details are 15 meters away and everything is in shot. And now you can see that um, uh, the additional light my phone makes. Uh, so even if you have some additional light from, let's say, uh, landscape lights or from the street, then this camera is, you know, happy to pick that up and, and you know, make out all the color details. So again, I think it's, uh, it's really, really impressive. It's like one of those fancy uh, mobile phones that can see in dark like, you know, it's normal daytime. You can see these flashes when this supplement light turns on and off. So I think that's, that's a, you know, that's a pretty good result. And if you look at the same scene uh, from the C800, so again, uh, this image quality is pretty much the same what we have seen half an hour ago. I mean, anyway, the, um, the IR LEDs are on, uh, so it's not going to be an awful lot of change. You can see when the supplement light turns on and off and it, it makes virtually no difference for this uh, infrared camera. But again, this is infrared, so the visible light should not make too much difference at this point. Uh, but again, so you can see the difference between the two footage and um, uh, probably you can decide which one you like best, whether you need that color night vision or you are happy with the, um, uh, with the regular infrared. And again, we have seen this before that even with this uh, night color night vision and the additional light source you know the face details were were pretty good as well so we were not losing details as in some of the other examples so I think it's um, yeah that's that's pretty good and now I want to show you how it looks like at the moment so you can see that it's um, well it's actually this this clock is one hour off so it is almost midnight here and, um, oh, sorry, I have the lights on. So I have a couple of porch lights here, which I'm going to turn off soon, but you can make out the, well, you can see all the details here now. And if I pan up, well, it's almost midnight, but we can still see some blue in the sky. And if I pan to the right, So this area of the garden, well, this is not completely dark because you can see the, the lights from here. But again, we have some light here, but this area is dark again. But still we can see colors, you know, blues. And uh, I have some blue um, bushes here. And this bushes actually has this reddish leaves. So you can make, you can still make the difference here. And again, this slide is red. This one is painted brown. These um, steps, there is like a kid's house uh, behind this tree. So um, yeah. I think it's pretty good. And let me actually, let me bring up my smart home thingy on my phone so I can turn off this light. Okay, so this light is now off. And again, and again now this supplement light has turned on. So that's the light coming from the camera. And it provides pretty much, well, almost, or even better illumination than the the porch lights which is probably like 10 15 watts leds okay well this is directly to the to the same direction as the camera is facing but again it's uh it's pretty nice i'm, I'm quite happy the reason you uh, see these spots on the ground because we just had rains about like an hour ago so really cool right um and I don't want to spend an awful lot in the in the user interface and the mobile application because uh, I think we have uh, well I know that I have reviewed this uh, you reviewed the whole thing for the C500 and the C800 and they are pretty much the same I mean it has all the bells and whistles that you would want uh, especially if I go into the configuration you can see all the various you know things that you can configure um, um, you know especially uh, IP camera stuff you know, all the formats and, 
you know settings for you know various stuff so i don't want to spend time to go through all of these but i want to pick up pick up a few things that i find especially with this camera the first of all uh, you can see it's a 3k camera so the the mainstream has this resolution so this is a 3k resolution and if i go into the image and then in the backlight not the backlight setting so you still have some additional um, features like dynamic range and other image enhancement features but these are not available at the moment because we are using the nighttime mode so if i would try to turn it on uh, it asked me to disable the slow shutter but well it is nighttime so we do have this uh, slow shutter enabled i mean it is set to auto so it goes to slow shutter but that's the additional you know smart supplement light so that's the small light which is uh, just below the um, the camera so maybe it's easier if i show you this so these are the small lights that uh, i was talking about so that's the supplement light and i can just turn it off and uh, actually i think i need to turn this off as well so now you can see that it's uh, this is how it looks like uh, without those lights and then obviously we lose some of the colors and the shutter speed reduces and it gets also a little bit uh, grainier so um, it's really up to you whether you want to use this again if you have some illumination maybe this is not even going to be required but it's definitely like a like a faint floodlight uh, probably I think it gives a sim similar illumination when you have like a f well a little bit well more in illumination, but when you have a full moon, but it's sort of like that kind of feeling, um, and you can um, you know reduce the um, uh, the intensity as well. So that's the extra setting which is specific to this um, uh, this camera. But then again, you still have all the image adjustment the um, exposure, white balance settings, uh, there are some additional image enhancements and also some video uh, settings. And when it comes to the motion recording and the events, again, it behaves exactly the same as, uh, let's say, my C uh, C500 or C800 camera as well. So you can set an area where you want motion to be detected and then you have a sensitivity and actually you can set up in the linkage method how what to do so i said i um, configured this uh, trigger recording and it's going to create um, uh, the recordings on the memory card which is built inside the camera and then you have some additional things uh, to notify the surveillance center and send emails as well but i haven't configured for example the email or the ftp upload so that's not going to do anything it just creates the recording on the sd card and i downloaded this recording so and those are the ones that we have uh, reviewed previously and um, um yeah you can uh, enable all the various recordings here so i have the motion recordings enabled 24 7 and when you go to the playback then you can see all these recordings as well so that works so if i look at today and you can <laughs> you can see that it is set to uh 20 percent but it still creates so many recordings so it is picking up all the things in my garden like you know my cat uh, my neighbor's cats going by so this is how a daytime look, uh, footage looks like or you know something in the morning which was I mean, it was a little bit hazier in the morning and it got uh, uh, sunny in the afternoon so really good image quality obviously perfect daytime image quality and i would say very respectful and surprisingly good nighttime footage as well especially if you want this uh, uh, probably more realistic color night footage than the usual black and white infrared and I wanted to show you this application a little bit, uh, well, quickly as well. So you can see I have the two cameras configured. So that's the NCPT500, so that's the uh, Chroma Night Vision. And then the one which is mounted right next to it, that's the C800, which I used for reference how the old footage looks like. And here I want to show you one thing which I really, really like. Well, first of all, I mean, obviously you have all the PTZ function here, so you can control the camera and uh, but then you can go to presets and then you have you can create these presets 
and you well sorry these presets mean that uh, it will remember certain locations on the screen and then you can recall so I created one so I think I created one which number one which sort of like looks at the street well more like you know towards the street and I've created two which is that that default location a little bit you know further to the driveway and a little bit down so this is something that I really really like because uh, in in most of the cheaper PT cameras you can obviously move the camera around but it doesn't have the functionality to be able to recall and then automatically navigate back to the saved location and I th well this is something that I always look for in a PT camera because especially if you have something which can pan like you know 180 degrees like on the side of the house it is really painful to you know click on the you know the buttons in order to pan from left to right especially if you have slow internet connection you always tend to overshoot but now you can store these presets and then you can just recall them so if I go to for example if I want to go look back and I think recalling the presets probably a little bit quicker as quicker than the by the way can you see me here yeah that's me waving in the window well you could see me a couple of minutes ago so anyway so if I set this one to preset 3 set night works and I can just do call preset 2 and then it well sort of quickly goes back to the previous uh, place and then with preset 3 it just pans back the other way around and you can see how this supplement light turns on and off depending on the light conditions oh you can see my hand there okay that's me you can see me in the window by the way can we look at the live view here as well you should be able to view it in both bases Ooh, yeah that's my hand oh you can see my hand oh wonderful Hi. perfect so that would be my review of the Enki Night Chroma NCPT 500 camera which is a 3k PT dome camera which supports PoE and uh, well a lot of tilt and uh, motion detection as usual and two-way audio yes I haven't mentioned the two-way audio but nowadays most of these cameras support two-way audio so I always uh, forget to talk about it and I think for this price you know this is a fairly reasonable offering um, because it has all these um, you know night color capability as well and also PT but if you look at the uh, the offering from Enki you can see that there is a whole list of uh, cameras available in the this night chroma um, fee with this night chroma feature so all these NC ones so for example I use the C800 and there is an NC NC800 as well but um, as you can see it has it is now 4k it uh, it goes all the way to 0 0.0005 lux so this is a more expensive camera but again if you can look through these uh, then you can probably find one which is uh, more suited to your needs again you can see here this is probably more comparable to the NCPT 500 but it doesn't have pan and tilt and obviously the price is lower than the you know the pan and tilt version and not to mention that you can buy entire systems using this uh, night chroma feature if you are interested in the NCPT 500 you will find purchasing links in the video description but that will be all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video